get set for another step away for an interview as Rosalind Joseph, Southern Illinois' brand new coach, is joining us now. And uh, coach uh, coming from Ohio State, an associate coach there, but a, a runner there. Talk about uh, coming to Southern Illinois, the draw, and, and kind of an interesting connection for you. Um, yeah, I spent the last 10 years at Ohio State, and so to be honest, it's the second home for me. I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky, but spent a lot of time there, and so um, was minding my business in Columbus, Ohio. I'll tell everybody, I got a, a Kansas phone, a, pho a call from a Kansas phone number, and uh, Jerry Kill was on the other end, said he wouldn't come down. I thought, for what? You know? Um, so it really didn't hit me until I, I uh, came on an interview, and um, obviously I would be remiss to not mention Johnny, uh, John and Connie Smith, um, you know, they put in a word for me, I'm sure, as well as, you know, they were able to, to kind of give me insight on uh, the university, the program, and, and um, I knew of Southern from afar, but to have someone that's been here and been successful saying, hey, this, this is a great move, not only for your career, but just being in the atmosphere, the sport, I mean, it's going to be supportive of you, and so I, I really... Um, I, I was less hesitant uh, after talking with them and then coming on the interview. It was, it, it was a no-brainer. First year now as head coach, how how do you like it being that that top person? Uh, it, it's to be honest, it's a uh, it's I don't know yet. How about that? <laughs> still feeling <laughs> like, it yeah, out. Yeah, still feeling it. Everyone's asked me that here. You know how what how you how you feel? What's going on? I'm thinking I I don't know. I just got here. It's the first time I've seen this arena. So, yep. um, you know, but it, it's nice to be able to really have a lot of ideas and, and thoughts and process and, and I've learned from some really really great mentors and so um, you know I'm, I'm excited to put those things into use well, under under Karen Dennis Ohio State uh, dominated in recent years the Big Ten championships and I know you had to look up to her and uh, the fact that uh, you coached the jumpers I, as well as right. a multi events at Ohio correct. State correct and your first day here congratulations you thank have you. a uh, <laughs> Missouri Valley Conference champion in the uh, yep, that, that yep. Line. thank you thank you no I definitely uh, you know <laughs> It was something that, no pressure, but for me, <laughs> um, coming in, you know, I, I, I think that the biggest thing was evaluating the, the people that we had, the student athletes we had, and, and I thought that, that, that she could win it. And so we did not bear any, um, any kind of expense in, in terms of training and the things that she was doing to make sure that, that she got it done. So at the end of the day, it was her. She got online got in the ring, got on the runway, and, and got it done. We could have another milestone tomorrow. Uh, Ty Eason uh, bidding them because she, the favorite in the 60 and the 200. The Salukis, uh, surprisingly, in their long storied history, have never had an individual winner in the women's 60. The time is right for tomorrow. How about it? And so knock on wood, don't jinx, don't jinx us. But <laughs> I, I, I will say I think that she is, um, she's confident and she's feeling comfortable. And so even in her prelim, she, the first thing she said to me, that, that felt good. So she's ready, she's ready. We're speaking with Rosalind Joseph, Southern Illinois' first year head coach. And uh, uh, after talking to uh, Coach Kill and, and, uh, and the Smiths, what, what was the draw to Southern Illinois? You'd seen some of the Missouri Valley Conference schools on that NCAA level at, uh, at NCAA championships. The, the draw for you to Southern Illinois? Uh, they were really supportive of track and field. As a track and field coach, you want to go somewhere where they, they, they tell you this is important to us. We want to help build it and grow it and, and keep it. You know, I can't say build it. It, it was built. They want to keep it a story tradition. And so for me, um, I was really honored to be able to be the person that they felt like could, could continue on with that tradition. And so to have that kind of faith and, faith and trust in me, I was like, I, I, I couldn't turn it down. From Coach Dennis at Ohio State, what, what kind of things do you want to bring to the Saluki program that, that you really liked there? Um, it's definitely a family feel. You know, when you, when you walk in, and, and that's something that's easy for me. I'm a mother. I have two children. And so, you know, when I think about building a program, I want it to be a place that my children would feel comfortable. And, and I'm and I know that we're dealing with people's most and their most valuable assets. So, you know, when you talk about somewhere that you're going to send your children, you want to make sure that they're they're comfortable and, and that they're heard and that they're supported. And so those are the things that really uh, we build kind of on the outside that the X's and O's come last. Now, your recruiting base, will you work around the region or are you Nationally, uh, I tell my coaches I like talent. So wherever it is, let's go get it. And those that want to come, come on. So. And the reputation, of, I, Brad. I don't think people realize uh, the Saluki programs produce 29 Olympians. Of course, you start off with Connie Price Smith, uh, 
multi five six time Olympian uh, 19 NCAA champions that's unheard of at that level yeah no it's, it's definitely a rival to, to most any program in the country and so I think that that's something to be honest for me coming on the interview seeing not only the the tradition and then the facilities and, and just the support all the alumni have, that have come back and really are, are excited about Saluki track and field that that makes it an easy draw. How's the excitement been around uh, your first indoor conference championships? Here? You know what? I, I was literally walking up the stairs and I was like, they, they, these student athletes, they are, I mean, they are showing out. As I told them, they are showing out. I don't, I don't even have any words in terms of just the, the level of competitiveness and, and the excitement and they're all, everyone's just working hard. Coaches, coaches are coming up and, you know, they're being supportive as well. So uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. You know, conference championships are really a team effort. I want to say I saw something on your social media, Twitter, how uh, when your multi-event uh, athletes were getting ready to come over today, the entire team was yeah. was there, <laughs> cheering them on on their way out to the dome here. Well, I mean, you know, we always say everybody's on call for the four by four, right? And so we make them stay to the end. Um, to be up 7:30 in the morning and, and having to kind of start and set the tone for the team is the least everyone could do is get out of bed and, and you know and then that they ate breakfast and, and everybody was up and, and ready for the day so um, it, it's it's the little things where do you want to try and take this program the potential that you see from growth growth here in your first uh, less than a year your first months on yeah, the job. I, was say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I you know I just uh, and, and coach kill will tell me um, it's it's one of his new favorite quotes but I I hate losing and and I'm and I don't apologize for that and so for me I just want to make sure that everybody that comes in here understands that we want to win uh, we want to win on every le level and so uh, in the classroom on the track nationally regionally uh, conference and so for me it's just about continuing with winning I saw a quote from uh, coach Dennis that said you're kind of the her her calming presence <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, is that just your personality is that your your persona that you'll bring so that that became the nickname in the in the staff meeting is the voice of reason and so to be honest it that you asked me if it's easier on top it is because i can actually call and ask for advice it was hard to like uh when when the decision was split in a room let, let's call Rosalind and see what she said and sometimes <laughs> that's a lot of pressure i mean the, everything from who's gonna run what to what are we gonna eat and and so sometimes you know when decisions are made i i think I enjoyed being able to kind of sit back and look look at it all and, and make a decision that um, I think is holistic. And so I, I don't mind that. I, I don't take it as a task. And so I'm just glad that, that she feels comfortable calling me, having me as her voice of reason. <laughs> As you uh, try and create some fantastic opportunities for your student athletes, as you look back your time as a student athlete, as an athlete, uh, what were some of your favorite memories? Um, the national stage, and, and again, um, th to me, when you get to that level and you are and you're in that meet and you're looking around at all the best in the country, it it really validates all the hard work you've put in. And so, we have a lot of student athletes who are working hard, and I want them to see that. The national level as well as in the conference when you start talking conference um, and being a, a conference champion uh, it's something that people can't take away from you so i definitely you know enjoy being able to walk away and still have that on your resume per se and so i, I want them to be able to have that experience you like the culture and the vibe that the the team has i am uh, loving it I, I know i really am i it, it, it it's nervous you come into place kind of blind you don't really know what you're walking into and Every last one of them been great. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. You know, can we have another? Uh, I mean, they really are working hard. And so I, I, I feel uh, really blessed and really fortunate to have a team that, that, that wants to do well. So to me, they've done their part in, in doing what we've asked. And so we're just trying to make sure we line up uh, the people in the right places to, to get it done. All right. Well, welcome to the Thank Missouri you. Valley Conference. Thank you. And, uh, I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your first indoor championships. Thank you so much. Thank you for having Thank me you. on. I appreciate right. it. Rosalind Joseph, Southern Illinois' first year head coach.